He tied the wood block and the barrel together to form the body of a gun. He polished the barrel with a knife and poured some gunpowder into it. Then, by inserting a marble and sealing it, you can create a homemade firearm. It seems that all men are interested in firearms, especially this boy who makes guns. He had only an elementary school diploma, and yet he built the AK-47, one of the top 10 guns in the world. Mikhail Kalashnikov was a sergeant in World War II. He was wounded at the front in 1940. Their wheels were stuck in the sand and couldn't get out. Several wounded soldiers pushed the car, but it did not move. So the captain had to take Kalashnikov to a nearby farmer to borrow a horse. But as soon as they entered the yard, they saw two Germans coming out of the house. An enemy came out of the next house, but when the captain turned his gun around, it jammed. Then he was knocked to the ground. Kalashnikov was behind him and immediately raised his pistol and shot the German. Fortunately, the captain was not seriously wounded. Kalashnikov dismantled the captain's rifle in the car on the way back. He found out that the bullet drum was frouncing by water, so it was jammed. Because of this, he conceived an automatic rifle. A veteran on the train, who had lost both arms, was excited to see his sketch. He said it would save the soldiers' lives. This is the most important weapon the country needs now. Kalashnikov's blood boiled at the veteran's words. Instead of going home to recuperate, he got off the train and went to the engine section, where he used to work. Kalashnikov asked the leader to let him build a gun here. The leader thought he was inexplicable and asked him to leave immediately. Fortunately, every cloud has a silver lining. While Kalashnikov was waiting for his train, a big shot came to the station for inspection. He seized every opportunity to describe his idea to the big shot and asked for a letter of recommendation. With this letter, the head of the section finally agreed to give him a position. After that, Kalashnikov worked day and night on the design. When he approached the director for someone to make the gun, he was rejected again. He thought that Kalashnikov was a wounded soldier. Even if Kalashnikov had a document signed by an important man, he was useless. But the next day, countless workers approached Kalashnikov and told him that the director could only control their working hours. They could do whatever they wanted after work and offer Kalashnikov help. With the tireless efforts of the workers, Kalashnikov managed to make a rifle, although the rifle looked a bit strange. But when they tested the rifle, they found that it worked well both as a single shot and as a continuous shot. When the workers went to pick up the bullets, Kalashnikov stood still with his hand glued to the gun. He smiled slowly until they saw some bullets that were about the same level of deformation. He went to the political commissar's office to show the results to the leader. This is the AK-47, one of the top 10 guns in the world. It has dominated the 20th century with its solidity and cheapness. Its performance was as stable as ever, whether it was flooded or buried in yellow sand. But just as the first generation of the AK-47 was being developed, its inventor was ridiculed for being from the countryside and not being an inventor. A major saw the gun and was curious, so he sent it to the range for testing. After he shot a round, the people at the range looked at the target and were shocked because the accuracy and stability of this rifle is very good. At this time, the soldiers in the office were still laughing at Kalashnikov. The colonel rushed back and released him. The local commander heard the news and rushed to the range. He once again tested the rifle himself. He looked at the target through his binoculars again and left without saying a word. He suddenly called Kalashnikov and told him to get a new uniform. After seeing the power of the rifle, the commander decided to send Kalashnikov to represent his region in the National Weapons Design Competition. The rifle could only be mass-produced if it won the competition. The commander also gave Kalashnikov a letter of recommendation to go to the highest institute in Moscow for further study. Kalashnikov was given a separate studio at the institute. Kalashnikov did not know how to draw, so he was assigned an assistant named Katya. Katya was beautiful, and she was even more attractive when she was working. Kalashnikov always peeked out of the window and watched her. He gave Katya a packet of sugar, which was a rarity at that time, after the drawing was completed. At night, he would take Katya home. They grew to love each other. Kalashnikov also perfected the rifle in numerous tests. But despite this, he lost the match. It was then that Kalashnikov realized that there is always someone who is better than us. His superiors appreciated his talent and sent him back to Kazakhstan to work on a new light machine gun. Before he left, Kalashnikov took one last look at Katya, who was working hard. After he arrived in Kazakhstan, he was always working on it. He would sit at his desk all night every day. Every time his roommate got up, he found Kalashnikov exhausted and asleep at his desk. But Kalashnikov soon developed a new light machine gun. After testing, the gun performed consistently. So he returned to Moscow again with the gun. As soon as he returned, he found Katya and formalized his relationship with her. A circle is drawn on the barrel and a cross is drawn in the middle of the circle to make a simple target. 
The man raises his rifle, pulls the trigger and hits the target with precision. After testing a single shot, he makes an adjustment and raises the rifle again and pulls the trigger. With the sound of the gun going off, a million holes appear in the barrel and sand leaks out. This was the test of the world's first AK-47 rifle. Kalashnikov returned to Moscow and took the light machine gun to a design competition and did well. Kalashnikov's body was shaking as he Saturday in the conference room. Katya gently held his hand, but it was not to be. All the entries in the competition were unsuccessful. Kalashnikov was frustrated. He even went to the doctor to get a medical certificate to go back to the battlefield. But the doctor refused. Because Kalashnikov's hands were still weak, his gun was poorly designed and it couldn't fight. Kalashnikov was in a state of great self-doubt. It was on such a day that they celebrated the victory in World War II. Everyone gathered under the radio and rejoiced. Kalashnikov was happy, but he was also worried. The war was over, which meant that he might lose his job. Kachi kept reassuring him that the end of the war meant that they could return to their normal lives. But it doesn't mean that the country should stop progressing. The leader told Kalashnikov that the state supported him to continue his research into advanced weapons. Not only will he not lose his job, but he will have his own department. Kalashnikov started working day and night on his research again. The winner of the last weapons competition came to see him and gave him a lot of valuable advice. He told Kalashnikov to make the gun design simpler. Kalashnikov, with the help of numerous people, devoted himself to the automatic rifle. He kept a close eye on every step of the production process. He finally developed an automatic rifle in 1947. When he went to the firing range to test it, he was told that the general was using the range. The earliest he could test the rifle was the day after tomorrow. But one more day would mean one more day of sleeplessness for him. So Kalashnikov found a discarded sand barrel and painted a target on it. And here he began a shooting test. First he tested the single shot effect. He noticed that the gun was stable with a single shot and then started testing bursts. At the end of the test, security guards rushed up and took him away. But Kalashnikov looked at the barrel, always with a smile on his face. This time he really did it. Kalashnikov was taken to the general's office for a test violation. The general was also a mechanical designer. He was interested in Kalashnikov's precious design. Kalashnikov took the rifle apart and laid it out in front of the general. The general picked up the parts and examined them carefully. Then he put the rifle back together. He didn't even go to the range to test the rifle, but he was sure that every detail of the rifle was right. He didn't see the point of sending his own assault rifle for testing. The design of this rifle is flawless. Sure enough, on the day of the test, other guns had various problems after being flooded or buried by sand. Kalashnikov's rifle was the only one whose performance was always stable. He was a great success in the test. He did well in the workplace and was happy in his relationship. When he came back to Moscow, Katya said she was pregnant. Kalashnikov was a real winner in life. In 1949 Kalashnikov was honored in the Kremlin. The marshal brought him to the soldiers and introduced him and the automatic rifle Kalashnikov made would be named after him and simply called the AK-47 assault rifle. The film, entitled Kalashnikov, was released in 2020. The AK-47 has since become a symbol of 20th century armaments. With over 100 million rifles produced, Kalashnikov was a huge success because of this rifle and his perseverance. I have to say, talent is not scary. What is really scary is the person who has talent and still works hard.